Oh, didn't see it, eh? TE, well, Thomas Edwards. And uh, welcome to uh, part four of the BRM build on the uh, JJ, the MGZR. Now, uh, previous video, we did some seat belts, some sound deadening, and some rear door cards. Um, and uh, you probably, this is probably a familiar sight from the last intro in the last video, because we were meant to do what we're doing today in the last video. But it it, uh, it never happened because uh, um, we ran out of time pretty much. So we're doing it today. Uh, so I've got to disconnect the battery again. And uh, all, all you got to do is disconnect the uh, negative first, tuck it down the side, and then disconnect the positive because you've got to take every turn of all off when you do a steering wheel because it's got an airbag in it and you don't want it going off. So we disconnect both of them and then uh, we leave it 20 minutes so we go and have a cup of tea and then and then we come back to it so uh, that's pretty much it really you know it's uh well, i can do this actually And, uh, and that is a uh, battery removal, yours truly, T. Uh, and then we go and leave it. Right, it's uh, 20 minutes gone by. It's actually probably a bit longer than that. I actually went for a snooze, a bit of a T snooze. T was tired. Um, so uh, this is the, the original steering wheel. Now, JJ is a, an MGR Plus, where the plus stands for lever steering wheel. And he has like, he has like, electric windows, electric mirrors and sunroof. Um, now uh, this is great, this is a leather steering wheel, it's not bad at all, but uh, it's, it's not, it's not BRM-ish. So uh, we've gone and uh, got this. <laughs> we'll be going there in it very briefly. And now this is a genuine uh, Rover 200 BRM steering wheel. Uh, what we rescued with the interior that rainy day in uh, Newcastle last, last year. I dye kit off eBay and dyed it and like and then you sealed it to make it red because it do all the, the the problem with these steering wheels is they go black when they wear uh, and there's one in the other car well it's, it's starting to wear we might actually have to refurb that one at some point but this one's nice nicely done this one is um, now the uh, the way of going about taking a wheel off and on a ZR, let me put this down here. On a ZR is is two torques either side here, and I don't know what side I don't know what size they are. Forgotten, but I don't know. I'll soon tell you. So the, the size for the torques on the back of the steering wheel is a, a T30 torque bit. Uh, now I actually going to try and uh, I've got I've got one of these where I could take it off with, but have I got any in here? Oh yeah, I've got a T30, so if I put one in here, give me, give me little bits here and put them in there, put that in there, and then I can put me, uh, me, uh, me uh, snap-on uh, ratchet on it. There you go, yeah, and it should be a lot better, now we can uh, get it in better. Whoa. Uh, guess it, yeah. Now with the, the wheel here, I'll tell you all in a minute, but with the wheel here, you can notice it has two different centers in it. Um, MG and uh, the Rover one for 200, what's a Rover? Um, now the, you, the thing is with ZRs and these wheels is, depends what, what era of ZR you got. If you got an early ZR, it will work, but if you've got an old, a later one, it, it won't work, and it won't work in the way that the airbags are different, the plugs are different on the back. Now, I, well, we might, well, fingers crossed, JJ is quite an early ZR, so we might, we might get away, but 
we don't we're not going to do it anyway because uh, the MG ones look better because it's an MG car you know it's, it's badged up as an MG and to get that airbag to fit this wheel you, it sort of overlaps a bit here but it all works it all goes in and it, it's you know it's secure and it does work because we have done it on another car uh, but I've seen people what have actually put the whole wheel and the whole airbag in because they've got an early ZR uh, but uh, we'll have a look anyway just be interesting to see One out. And it'll come out like that and then there's this little connector on the back here what you you take out I can't quite remember to come out yeah does it come out again ah ah there we go uh, get my finger. There you go, and that, and that comes out like that, and it's got that funny little clip. Now don't don't bend them. You, you know you have to watch that, and it'll just just hurt me hand pull it out. But it caught me. Now that's off. Now we'll put that somewhere safe. Back there. Now in here, there's like a two horn. There's a horn switch. What you got to pull out there. Um, there, that's a horn switch. And that should pull out behind. Now I have to go, actually go back in, uh, inside and get me, me crack bar and a, a socket to take the wheel off now. So that's the next job. So I've come back and got me, uh, me crack bar and I've got a, a little wet half inch extension. And uh, to, the nut in the middle of these steering wheels is a, a 19 mil. Uh, now I've got a little extension because it's, it's a bit of a deep uh, steering wheel. Can't see if we can get it off now. <laughs> there we go. Now there's an old, uh, old uh, trick with steering wheels, but this one's all right. The old, there's, if you do old steering wheels, like stuff, I don't know, Land Rovers and stuff like that, the way to do it is what actually I've just done there, actually, without thinking about it, is you, you loosen the nut and then you pull it out because some steering wheels are too, are actually stuck on really tight and you, you leave the nut on because if you, you're pulling it and you, you will smack your face. So you, you leave your nut on so it just loosens it and then you take your nut off and uh, the other thing you need to do with steering wheels is I'm pretty spot on actually so I don't might have to do it when you take your nut off you mark it in there and you mark on your spline in your on your steering wheel where it is so when you put it back on so it's straight but we're swapping wheels and the wheels are straight on the outside so we should be all right um, now I'm just thinking there I think there's another connector there but I can't remember I don't think it needs to do that so we'll be all right Go. One steering wheel off. Pretty good. Now there's um, a lot of ZR owners fit a TF steering wheel. What's a lot smaller and not like race car y thing. And uh, when you put a TF steering wheel, you've got to put a different donut on here because it's a different one because it's obviously a different car. But with the 
BRM uh, steering wheel and this, you don't have to do it. It's pretty much a, a, st a straight sw uh, swap. Um, so that's pretty good. You know, that's you know, that's there. Um, I'm just going to go and pass this to uh, the cameraman. I can have a look at that. Now I just need to take this one apart here. Maybe a little bit. It's off. That's a 200 uh, BRM uh, uh, bag off. It's got another spare nut in here. I know, I'm just looking to see if the uh, airbags are the same. I know, this being an earlier car on a 52 plate. Yeah, no, it's actually different. So it's, uh, it's uh, that, uh, that tail is wrong again. You got, I think you got, probably must have to have a really early, like, 51 plate, maybe a wide plate to get it to fit. Um, you can see there, look how small that one is compared to that one's bigger. So you really got to get this one to fit this. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a, a jiggle to get it to fit. But it should be all right, we'll get it, we'll get it on. You actually see the build date down there. The, uh, the 2nd of the 2nd, 1999, this steering wheel was done. Steering wheel, what we just took off, and the date in that one is the 20th of the 9th, 2002, and then it says lever above it, because the, the low spec ZRs had a plastic wheel on. So yeah, it's pretty good, that. So that steering wheel was not much uh, newer than this one, really. Up nut back on now, screw it back on. Now I've got it, it's pretty straight there, that's actually like it was before. Yeah, so we'll, we'll screw this back on. You know, some, uh, some bright smart belt there, he's saying, oh, you've got to torque it up. Nah, I've got to torque it, <laughs> just do it by feel again. TE feel is, uh, is uh, king, you know, you just uh, get it on. Because if you, if you some new cars, they torque stuff up. It's actually on dead loose. It actually isn't on tight at all. Always, always find a bit, a bit interesting. On it's tight, tight. All right, now we're uh, this. There we go. This is, this is the hard bit, now it's jiggling this to fit this wheel, What you, as you can see it overlaps a bit. But it looks alright, you know, it's just getting it to go in. You know, you can get one in, and it, but it's getting the other side in. There you go, that's a, that's a bit of a faff, but it, it, they're in. They're on tight. That's two, uh, well, feels good, doesn't it, that? It all say racing grips there. That's two, uh, that's a, a, a full uh, Rover 200 BRM steering wheel installation on a, a, an MG ZR with an MG ZR airbag in. Well, you can see overlaps, but it works. 
and it looks wonderful. And um, that, that is uh, that is the interior pretty much complete. Dark hard seats, centre console, knobs, um, steering wheel. Uh, the only thing left on this is uh, something I'm going to tell you in a future video, what we're working on behind the scenes to make it one of the one-off uh, interiors in the country with a, a simple mod, but it might be quite a difficult mod. Um, and uh, But what we've got to do, when this is not finished this video, I've got to reconnect the battery. You know, make sure it doesn't go kaboom and, uh, and reconnect it and uh, I've got to uh, see if the horns work and then start it up and see if the SRS light goes out and then we all tickety-boo ready to uh, keep the wheels turning on the MG with TE and uh, yeah and it's ready for uh, a show this weekend and I wanted to get it done so it's uh, it's ready for a show um, I've uh, I've this put the not this I've put the the, the battery back on uh, spanners and uh, the, the 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 first check is uh, oh it works it's finished you know T here's finished in it? nice wheel on there look oh and it's all nice and red and, uh, and uh, smart you know you know it's a proper it's a, a showbiz interior for a showbiz lad it's T E you know it's pretty real deal. Um, but uh, if you've enjoyed today, uh, well, first, actually, uh, get yourself to Patreon if you want to see some behind the scenes and talk with TE about about all things MG and everything uh, in the world of TE and what I get up to. There's a lad on there I'll talk to who's got his MG and supports us every month. He's a good lad. And, uh, and he's actually turned to look, watching train videos and he supports me from what no from one of these but he you know he's actually enjoying me train videos so i'll get over to patreon there'll be a link below uh, and uh, and then you know normal things is give me a good big fat comment below and a big fat like because if you like it other people will find it like-minded people and then we can you know it can get some good views uh, and um, give me a subscribe, you know, I'm nearly at a thousand, by the time this video goes out, it probably will be a thousand, you know, you because know, this would be on a long stack of videos, this vid, you know, it's like half a dozen videos as we speak today, what are going out before this, so yeah, give us a subscribe, and, uh, and click that big, bit loud, that, click that big bell, Ding!